What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com and today we're looking at Box.net. Now this is an app to allow file sharing between uh, computers and mobile devices. The website Box.net has been very popular among people who want to share their files with other people like friends and colleagues. Well now we have an app for that on Android. Let's check out the description here. It says Box for Android lets you easily view, access, and share files. Browse files and folders on Box. View documents, media, and other files. Share links to files and folders. Upload files from your device. Search through files. Box's web-based service also lets you share, manage, and collaborate on content online. So let's open her up. And here we go. Let me just log in with my user info here. All right, so here we are on the main screen after you sign in. It's just basically your directory for box.net. And I have three folders here that I've created. Let's go ahead and go into this one. And here are some files I have. I have four pictures, a PDF file, and a text document. Let's go ahead and open the document. Uh, let's open it with file editor. And here it is, Android is awesome. I uploaded that earlier today. And let's go ahead and download a picture, actually. I am over 3G, so it might take a little bit of time. Okay, it looks like it's about done here. And here is the picture that I downloaded. Now remember I up uploaded these from my computer and this is actually a picture of the Golden Pavilion in Kyoto, Japan. Very beautiful place. So let's go back out of here and you see these little arrows. If you actually clicked on those you can have some other options here. You can preview which I guess enables this preview image up here. You can upload a new version or you can share. So you can actually share them with mail applications, Bluetooth, or you can even use the Dropbox client, which is kind of cool. Uh, you press mail, it'll fill out a bunch of information. So I'm just going to discard this. And let's go to the main screen. And some other options here. Share, all files, search, upload, and settings. Although there aren't too many settings. Now, a little discrepancy here is Dropbox allows you to have 2 gigabytes of free storage. Uh, Box.net only allows one gigabyte, so hopefully they'll amp that up after some time passes. Also, there seems to be some bugs, but overall it does work, so it's another way to share files, especially for those of you who already use Box.net. This is great for you. So this was a look at Box for Android. It's free on the Android market. Go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching.